Oh, there you go. Bill Cypher, everybody. Did I just die in God mode? Do we have a boss as strong as Ek Death in here? Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are putting bosses to the test yet again. You know how it is. And we are finally checking out the weapon that is stronger than the Sword of the Multiverse. And that weapon is the Kalid Bulg. We finally got the right name. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out the name of this weapon. I mean, here's a couple comments giving me the wrong name which doesn't really help but you know what i mean so this thing right away gets an a plus for me because it doesn't make a loud annoying obnoxious noise i mean that can still be considered obnoxious but like guns like the the laser gun you know that shit go pew 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 like that's annoying but you know at least it's not hello oh my god hey we get to test it out on the queen bee already come back over here See you later. But yeah, like I said, after watching the last episode, I'm gonna start putting on armor sets. And the mod itself does have some armor sets. Uh, and as you can see, there, there's some that look all the same. I don't know why these are all the same. And then you got this over here. The Demon Overlord, Monster King, Death Emperor. There's like three different names. We're gonna take this armor set because it looks really good. Uh, and we're gonna put this on for this video. Let's just get a quick look at how it looks. It actually does look really cool. But the Mushroom's cooler. Come on, let's be honest now. All right, but yeah let's get to it here i'll swing the sword a couple more times so you can see the dps let's get to it we already killed the queen bee sucks for her uh, let's kill her again there you go skeletron the eye you know if this weapon blazes through we might have to test this weapon out on some different bosses maybe we'll add in a couple new bosses of course i'm hyped to get to act death but to get to act death we gotta take on all the pre hard mode bosses of course so since this thing summoned in the uh queen bee i'm assuming the projectiles shoot for a long time because like if i shot towards that larva right there let's see if i hit it like that, that's kind of far Let, let's see if i hit it though it's more than possible. Okay, I, I don't think I could, I could hit that one. Maybe I hit one that was like closer to the surface. I could always hit one of these ones from uh, Calamity. The ones that have the queen bees inside of them. But maybe that one's too far. Anyways, let's fight the dark mage. I'm going to start including the dark mage in these uh, pre-hard mode bosses. You know, I still have people telling me that I missed the Queen Slime and Empress of Light. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I'll be banning you from commenting in the future, so keep it up. But we got the brain here. Come on, that's easy. What? I didn't one tap him. I thought it was easy. You guys saw I had the line up there. Oh, there you go. Okay, we know the eater is going to be really easy. The eater is usually always easy if we kill him right at the beginning. Before he can get all his segments to spawn in. And of course, wall of flesh time. Let us go ahead and add to our box collection down here. And it's looking pretty good. I, it looks like I don't really fight many wall of flesh. Uh, actually, there's one over here. But like this left side is pretty clear. But we come over here to like the middle. And you can see where I fight most of them is over here in this area. Maybe I got to change it up. I got to start fighting some down here. All right, let's take on the mech trio here boom and i want to get a good swing in there okay i killed apparently i killed destroyer too i thought it was just skeletron prime in the other eye but boom there you go only took like two swings for three pretty much four bosses all right let's see if we could double down here on plantera and the golem do them at the same time bam oh we might accidentally break a queen beehive careful i see the projectile went over here i kind of actually want to break a queen beehive let's see oh those are close look how close that is bring it down a little bit maybe there we go hey see you later man you already know my boy duke fish around here he's about to be duke fish gone and let's move on to the event bosses and stuff let's start with everyone's favorite couple again yes sir ever scream and morning wood i oh that was an accident you know what okay they don't get to be a couple this time that's my bad that's my bad i accidentally swung all right santa tank uh, i never usually call him that i usually call him sand tank ice queen pump king say what's up to shrek for the one time now i'm surprised nobody has made like a shrek skin for the ogre at least in like Terry 1.4 at least what's up to betsy again gotta play that game eventually i don't know what version is the current version of that game though because i know there's like a couple of dungeon defender games of course we got the dutchman and the martian saucer and of course i cannot forget my boy here marco Get him out of here. All right, boys. You, you already know what time it is. I'm sorry. I'm going to just stand underneath them. Just start swinging. Actually, let's do it like this. We get a head start on the pillars. Right? Maybe? Nope. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, we got that pillar. Come on, pillar speed run, baby. Pillar speed run. We're going for a PB. I, I don't know where this pillar is. There you go. And last but not least, there we go. That had to be the fastest yet, right? Now, I guess while we wait for uh, the Moonler to spawn in, we can fight the Dungeon Guardian. I don't know. Maybe the Dungeon... I don't remember if the Dungeon Guardian died to the Sword of the Multiverse or not. But what's up? No, he's not dying. Uh-oh. We found some resistance here. It's the Calamity mod, more than likely. Oh. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. And there he is. See you later. Oh. I clicked once. I mean, I'll take it. That makes life a little easier. All right, next up, Abyssion. Shell version first, of course. I'm gonna click once. Okay, that, that was me clicking once. Like, I'm even... The projectiles are just too strong. And then let's fight the naked one, just because, you know, we just do it every time now. All right. These guys. I feel like I could click once to kill them. Let me see here. Oh, no, it homed away. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. The projectiles aren't hitting because we know what happens when the projectiles hit uh, the dream meter a lot. Our ears get blasted by it screaming. All right, so we have the calamity bosses coming up here. Let's start with dog, of course. I don't remember. Yeah, if this sort of multiverse killed dog or not, it's looking like a no. Uh, no, multiple times too, which is a little upsetting. Because I swear that the sort of multiverse kill. Oh, well, I could just test right now, can I? Stall back to this one, of course. Let, let's see, because I, I swear that it had to kill it if it was in the Hall of Fame video, right? Yeah. So what the hell? How come the stronger sword doesn't kill it? Is this sword even stronger? Yeah, it is. It's way stronger. All right, phase two. Can it at least kill phase two? Absolutely not. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess the sword is not better than the other one, even though it does do more damage. So we already know what's about to happen with the next couple of bosses. Probably. Uh, we're probably not going to get anywhere fighting these bosses. But let's see anyways. We got a test of course. Oh wait. Yarn actually took some damage right there. It wasn't an insta kill but that's a lot of damage. And like I say anything that can do a lot of damage to a calamity boss is always impressive. Because that means it got past the damage cap. Like it isn't just like a straight up block like it was with the worm or the devourer of gods. But like, uh, I consider this impressive. And there you go. Just like that. Yarn is dead. Treasure bag and all. Okay, uh, we're getting different outcomes from Calamity bosses. Uh, kind of weird. But now, Supreme Cow. Let's see how this one works. Ooh, look at the jukes. Fuck. All right. Sepulchre. Doesn't die. Never dies. I feel like I say his name different every time, too. Okay, let us go ahead and just take out all of those. And Supreme Cow, she's taking damage. What the fuck? It's not no insta-kill damage, but just like Monica's deletion, it's a lot of damage, bro. And a lot of damage to any Calamity boss is impressive. So I'm gonna consider this the W. It's so weird, though, how we weren't able to kill Dog with this sword. Imagine bringing Supreme Cow's brothers, and then she takes you out just to die. She's like, hey, yo, can you help me out with something? And you just come out here to get fucking butchered. Well, I don't know about butchered with this weapon. For some reason, we're doing less damage to these guys than we were to Supreme Cow. Kinda weird champ. Can we get some weird champs in the chat? I don't know what the hell is going on. Does this usually happen during the Supreme Cow fights? You know, I'm gonna just kill her and not even worry about her brothers. And she dropped a cool gun. Look at this cool gun. Whoa. But there you go. I consider that a W against both Yarn and Supreme Cal. But a L against the dog? It's so weird. It's usually like the other way around, if anything. But now, let's go ahead and take on, not the Eidolon Worm yet. I don't want to have to kill myself. But the Deviant. Bye. Okay, maybe we shouldn't even test the Deviant anymore. Deviant kind of dies every time. Let's test the Mutant, though. We know the Mutant is one of the ones that likes to resist. And he's resisting very well right here. He's still taking decent damage, but... You know, I consider this a lot of resistance because uh, I feel like we've seen them die a lot faster, especially to like Monica's deletion that we just tested out in the last video. But at least it's not like a hard damage cap. All right, I did say I would test some more bosses here, so let me test Bill Cipher. Use a dimensional rift. All right, fine, be that way. There you go. Oh, I threw the fuck out of that. Bill Cipher, everybody. When do I? When can I fight him? Bill Cipher, everybody. Oh, he's still alive? Bill Cypher, everybody. There you go. And just for fun, we will test out the Ugandan Knuckles right here. <sighs> they, they, always, they always want me to use something, huh? All right. 
There you go. I used it. You got the knuckles, everybody. Holy fuck. Did I just die in god mode? Do we have a boss as strong as Ek Death in here? I didn't even get to swing my sword. We got to run that back. I'm swinging the sword. Full force now. Oh, my God. We may have found a boss as strong as Ek Death. Let me just, like, grab him, though, with, uh, with this weapon. Oh, my God. It's resisting the tome of greater manipulation. Kill me, then. You deserve to kill me. Go. There you go. Guys, I think we gotta test this boss instead of Ek Death now. We gotta do like a whole like Hall of Fame video against this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do the Eidolon Worm and then it's time for the finale. Eidolon Worm. Of course not. Why would he? All right, let's do it. Ek Death. Let's get to it. I don't remember. Yeah, the Sword of Multiverse took a L against Ek Death. So uh, I did not consider a W here. Can I like... Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna see if I could use the rod of discord and change direction. Oh, the queen bee has killed every player. That's fucking cap. What a lying bitch. Again, I will be doing the outro as it goes because I'm too lazy to relog the world. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to leave more weapon suggestions. Remember, the weapon doesn't necessarily have to insta kill things, but do a lot of damage to them really quick. That's that's really it for all I'm looking for in this series because I feel like we've seen a majority of insta kill weapons and we're probably running low on them. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I am working on a longer video that involves the number 100 so that's why it's taking a while and the 100 is a big number to do but you can catch me on twitch streaming sometimes twitch tv slash gamers on one follow my twitter again the game Raider socials are coming soon i'm gonna have a snapchat i'm gonna have an instagram where we can interact and stuff and also shout out undaunted haunted you're gonna see why in a second at the end of this video i commissioned a little cool something something enjoy the little clip at the end of this video of me opening it up again hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you guys see you next time.